Okay, sorry. I had to start this over again. I got a call from the VA. Anyways, um, um, what's his name? Melvin Bryan or something like that? Anyways, uh, how do I say this? This guy's dumb. <laughs> Ignorant is a better word. Ignorant. Uh, and, and he's not alone. There's a lot of people that, that have things like pro-American uh, sentiment, and it's really it's misplaced. Um, the world doesn't exist the way that it did in the 50s and 40s, and, it, and even then it didn't. So um, one of the Nazis' biggest suppliers of oil was Texaco. Yeah. <laughs> Run that through your brain, okay? Everything virtually in the world is made in China uh, and sometimes India because those places have plenty of ignorant people that are willing to work for 50 cents an hour, dollar an hour, which for them is a pretty good wage. You got to understand their cost of living. They can live on $50 a month. Yeah. So not me. <laughs> So I have to take advantage of everything I possibly can. And that means buying stuff from China. So for this guy, MB Enclosures, to say no, never Def Bonds is the dumbest thing ever. Most of what Def Bonds buys is made in China. It, it might be assembled in Russia, but what Russia is doing right now, especially to Ukraine, you got to really do your history. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but it's fine. This, is, um, this isn't aimed necessarily at NBA enclosures, although he does say a lot of dumb things on his channel. And if you want to watch him, it's very entertaining if you know it's dumb. The problem that I have is that when people don't know any better, and they listen to this guy, and then they go out, you know, spouting what he's spouting, and it just makes things worse, right? So especially like if you, you know, it's what it ends up being is gossip. So this idea of pro-American... That's that's gossip. That's it's baloney. It's bullshit. There's there's not anything pro-American anymore. And if you had any idea, and that's what's ironic about this, if you had any idea on the history of the violence and torture and uh, horrible war crimes that the United States government has perpetrated on its own people and the world, you might second think about what is pro-American, okay? That's all. So I just, you can watch this guy, but just remember he's dumb, he's, he's ignorant, and uh, it has nothing to do with skin color. Believe me, there's a lot of uh, Trumpers that have this same sort of ideas, um, but in this case, to see him especially go from, you know, loving Kicker's Nuts, which is all made in China, and then going to love uh, Digital Designs, which which is really funny, especially because you got to understand that digital designs moved manufacturing over to China, specifically starting with the red line. Okay. Why do they call it the red line? Ha ha, wink, wink, because it's made in China. Get it? Red China, red line. Get it? They're, they're looking you right in the face. And they're 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 I don't, they're not lying to you, but they're just giving you like a little wink wink nod nod as they fuck you in the butthole. So um, and this guy is their mouthpiece. This guy is for sale. This guy is their good buddy, and that's what they call a sellout. Is somebody that's willing to sell their integrity, their time, their endorsement for something that is not uh, genuine. Now somebody asked me the other day. They're like, well, Patrick, would you? take an endorsement money from Kicker or Rockford or somebody if they gave me a lot of money. And I go, not on this channel. I want there to be at least one last place on this earth where somebody can give an, an educated, honest response without any sort of uh, bias or uh, self-congratulatory uh, or even you know wealth building of my own, lining my own pockets, okay? I want to give you guys the truth. Even if I go on another channel and I go, oh, yeah, uh, let's see, who's good? Recoil. Recoil is the best. Oh, you should, you should only buy Recoil, blah, 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 blah. Recoil is the, in the same boat, which is that as long as they're affordable, and as long as they give me uh, uh, financing, 
They're my buddy because they're helping me make money. And I want to help you guys make money. And don't be attached to brand. Don't be attached to pro-American. Don't be attached to any of that. Because rich people certainly are not. And if you want to be rich and you want to be wealthy and you want to provide wealth for your family, right? You, you need to look at the tide and decide whether or not you want to go along with everybody else. Okay? Sometimes it's about survival. Right. So if you're a, if you're a, if you're Jewish and you're in Germany in the 30s and they're like, are you a Jew? You're like, no, no, Heil Hitler, Heil Hitler. Right. Because otherwise you're going to get killed. So um, this kind of sentiment, though, about being, quote unquote, pro-American is is super dumb uh, because other countries do the same thing to us. They go, look at what America is doing. Anything that America is doing, we want to ban too because they're, and it's, it's super dumb. The guys at Def Bonds are regular dudes, regular business dudes that make, that love audio. It, it's, it's not personal. And if you talk to them and you know them, and this is also the same of China. When you talk to these vendors, when these are real people doing a job just like you're doing your job. There's nothing personal about it. You can't, they can't control what their government does. I can't control what my government does, right? Even though they're, they're bombing uh, civilians and killing families all over the world. There's nothing I can do about it. So should people be against America for that? That's up to them. But that's a kind of an ignorant response. So just educate yourself, guys. Read a book. Listen to some Jordan Peterson at the very minimum. Uh, that really a great, if you want to watch a great series that is basically a podcast, is watch um, Jordan Peterson's uh, seminars that he did on the Old uh, Testament. It is fascinating. It is entertaining. It is wonderful insight. It's not boring at all. So there was a, what was it? Earlier I got a phone call from my wife. Um, and I'll put this in perspective. So I want to be an adult. Right? So when growing up, I didn't always like adults because they were telling me no. They were punishing me. They were, you act, I acted up. They put me in the corner, whatever. Sometimes I got whipped, whatever. They, but they told me no. One of the biggest issues that I have with young people today is that their parents didn't tell them no. And that's a huge problem because they have no perspective on reality and boundaries. So uh, one of the things somebody commented on was about um, people like him, people like MB Enclosures, um, not only just spreading stupid stuff, but um, not taking responsibility for what they say and for what they do. I, I do my very best. And at being an adult is all about not being friendly, <laughs> not being liked, and being willing to be okay with that because it's the right thing to do. And buy your diabetes <laughs> supplies <laughs> from an oatmeal guy. Um, it's the right thing to do, and it's the, it's the, it's the right, uh, it's a hard thing, right? Anybody can be a sellout. That's the easiest thing to do. Anybody can be a lemming, even though that story is wrong too. But um, uh, selling out and, and not cursing and not, and playing by the rules and doing what everybody tells you to do is the easiest thing to do. It's so easy, children can do it. And that's why everything's fucked up. That's why uh, politicians can't be trusted because they're always taking pouts. They're always being childish. They're always, uh, as Jordan Peterson talks about, they're always being Peter Pan. Because, you know, in fact, a couple years back when my nephew was in his late teens, um, he called me a simp for caring about other people. And, you know, I hear these comments from especially younger black guys uh, on my channel uh, that I'm being foolish by not taking a payday, by not uh, getting with the program and doing what all the other cool kids are doing. That's the whole point of my channel. I don't want to be the same as everybody else. I don't want to be... Uh, uh, what's the, what my, Ty, my friend Ty said the best trick ass bitch. I don't want to be a trick ass bitch. Okay. Um, and if you, if you buy into that stuff, if you buy into, uh, the morality of capitalism, right? Capitalism, 
uh, or just uh, being um, selfish and, you know, just serving yourself and let, you know, run your own race, that kind of shit, you know, instead of commenting or standing up and doing the right thing, you'll end up like this guy, which is, which is, he is completely replaceable. All right. And to go back to my, uh, I, I did some stand up like this where I talked about um, this guy's a red shirt. Okay. If you know Star Trek, right, Kirk and maybe Bones, maybe Spock would go down to the planet and they'd also have two red shirts. Well, the red shirts are going to die because they're disposable. And that's what an actor is in the movie business is disposable and changeable, replaceable. Of course, we all are replaceable at some significant point. But this level of quote unquote success of, say, getting on an uh, episode of Star Trek and being a red shirt, that's very attainable by many people. It's the easiest level. The next level is, of course, being a blue shirt, which is like a consultant or, or a specialist, some sort of technician. And that can be a doctor, that can be a lawyer, that can be somebody that specializes in it. What you really want to be is an owner or a controller. And that's what a gold shirt is. That's what Captain Kirk is. And he's not replaceable, both on the show and in real life. So ask yourself, what kind of shirt do you want to be? Being a gold shirt is hard. It's very hard. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to do with this channel. I'm doing my best to be a gold shirt and, and, and a path for you guys to come up with ideas of your own, for us to brainstorm and break out of the monotony and the, uh, the poverty that is being a red shirt. Okay? So uh, I'm going to name this thing Don't Be a Red Shirt. So even though red Chinese, red Russian, whatever matters. So... Uh, be pro-American as, as long as it's they're not going to shoot you. <laughs> if they're going to shoot you, be whatever they tell you to be. <laughs> to survive. Don't have pride about that. But when you have the luxury of standing up to do the right thing, stand up and do the right thing. It's very unpopular, uh, but it's the right thing to do. I love you guys. Do your research. Bye.